I'm Griff Robodanger, and in this video, I'm going to take an iconic Halloween horror film, Trick or Treat, and let a computer rewrite every segment. This is... Scary Stories. So how does this work, you might be asking? Well, I enter incomplete scenes from a movie's plot into an AI text generation tool and let it finish those scenes. Whatever wild detour the AI decides to take with each segment, I have to do my best to get the story back on track. In the case of Trick or Treat, each new segment will get a fresh start. I'm also using AI image generators to illustrate some of the AI generated portions of the story. To the best of their ability. Let's begin! In our first segment, Emma and her Halloween loving husband Henry return home after partying on Halloween night. Emma, who hates Halloween, blows out their jack-o'-lantern before midnight, but Henry tells her that it's against tradition to undecorate before midnight. Emma wants all the Halloween decorations gone before the next morning. Henry promises to remove everything early the next morning and convinces Emma to meet him inside for some alone time. While Henry goes inside and accidentally falls asleep, Emma starts to take down some of the decorations, saying, I hate Halloween. While she takes down the scary decorations, she is ambushed and violently attacked by an unseen assailant who... cuts off her head and puts it on the jack-o'-lantern. Later that day, Emma returns to the hospital in a coma without a head, and the children break the news to Henry. The next morning, with no sign of Emma, Henry calls her Aunt Ivy, and she comes to visit her. Ivy informs Emma that... Emma the headless girl in a coma? Ivy informs Emma that the attack looked like a side and tells her the truth about where she really came from. She is an imposter and a failure who never meant to hurt Henry. Ivy or Emma? Ivy forgives her and tells her that there was still hope for her and that the townspeople would eventually learn the truth. Henry realizes Emma isn't coming back, oh from decapitation, and decides to tell the town the truth. Whereupon the previously oblivious townspeople discover the truth and transform into triumphant, excited spectators in the upcoming Scarecrow family themed festival. That sentence took me like 12 times to say. Emma wakes up from her coma with or without a head just as the festival is beginning. She realizes that Henry lied to her and that the festival is all his doing, so she sets out to fight him. What? A fight that ensues and the children are reunited and Henry finally finds Emma. Weren't they just fighting? The film ends with the Scarecrow family blessing Halloween, hoping for its longevity. And for the record, the film isn't over because there's like four more segments left. On Halloween night, a boy named Charlie walks through the neighborhood, knocking over jack-o'-lanterns. He stops at one house and walks up to the porch, where it appears no one is home. A bucket full of candy is set out with a sign saying, please take one. The boy begins to put the entire contents of the bucket in his bag, when someone startles him from behind. He turns around to see that no one is there. He picks up his bag and starts to walk away, when a shadowy figure leaps from behind the front porch. The boy screams in terror and begins to run away, but trips over a root and falls over a cliff. The dark figure follows him, reaches out and pulls the boy over the edge of the cliff to his death. Well, that was abrupt. The next day, the parents of the deceased boy knock on the door of an old shack at the edge of town where the boy once lived without his parents. Inside, they find the boy's mother crying and his father in a drunken stupor, weeping over his son's corpse. So hold on, the parents of the boy go to the shack, and inside they find the boy's mother and father? I... <sighs> As they look down on the boy's body, they begin to scream and run off. The dark figure is nowhere to be seen. That was a little dark. In our next segment, Four costumed teenagers are collecting jack-o'-lanterns and stop at the house of a schoolmate named Rhonda, who is dressed as a witch. Rhonda's yard is decorated with dozens of jack-o'-lanterns. Schrader asks politely for one of Rhonda's pumpkins and invites her to come with them. The group, led by Macy, visits a flooded quarry where she learns the urban legend of the Halloween school bus massacre. In this legend... The bus driver was about to dump a bunch of pumpkins from the back, but was distracted by a dog that jumped on the rear exit door. <laughs> One of the kids got a hold of a jack-o'-lantern and broke it open, releasing a demon and an angry mob. The demons are finally contained, 
by the bus's radiator fluid, and the last demon lures the bus driver to a nearby field where the dog is tied to a stake and burned alive. Jesus, God, oh God, no. After the story, Rhonda invites the teens to her costume party. After they knock on her door, they are startled by a haunted bus that drags itself into the house. Macy lures the bus to the school's haunted cemetery, where a bunch of kids are lighting jack-o'-lanterns around the tree, and some are even playing Ghost in the Graveyard on the lawn. She is annoyed since she was in the... Let's double down. Process of searching for one. Okay. Chip looks for some buried treasure while the others play pumpkin ball in the graveyard. Chip quickly finds a jack-o'-lantern on a grave and starts peeling it. But at that time, a trio of masked robbers ambush him. In a struggle, the criminals kill Chip and scalp him. <laughs> what? Oh no. As the police enter the cemetery, the masked robbers escape along with Macy. Schrader also manages to survive the attack, but is wounded by a shotgun blast. When Macy realizes that her companions are now dead, she walks home in silence. Well then. In this next segment, Lori is a shy 22-year-old. Her older sister Danielle tries to boost Lori's confidence by taking her to a Halloween party with two of her friends, Maria and Janet. The girls all dress in revealing fairy tale costumes, except Lori, who is stuck dressed as... A stormtrooper! <laughs> As the town celebrates Halloween, the girls walk through town on the way to the party. Danielle, Maria, and Janet pick up dates and head to the party in the woods, but Lori... is left on her own. Lori begins to get nervous and eventually has to go to the bathroom. TMI AI. Meanwhile, a young woman makes out with a masked man in an alley. He affectionately kisses her neck, but when she looks down, she sees blood running down her body. The man smiles, revealing blood on his fangs. The woman screams and makes her way to the street where... She reaches for her child and collapses. She brought her child to go make out with a dude in the alley? The man smiles again and we see that he is... Checks notes... James Blonde! They literally put checks notes dot 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 James Blonde. So back to Lori, she finally decides to join her friends at the party. As Lori walks down a dimly lit path in the woods, she senses someone is following her and shouts out that she's not in the mood and they'd better come out. When no one responds, she turns around and comes face to face with James Blonde. He grabs Lori, saying, my my, what big ears you have, before switching back to the stormtrooper disguise and bludgeons her unconscious. Okay. At the bonfire party, the girls are startled when the cloaked body of James Blonde falls out of a tree near the fire. Danielle nervously approaches James, who is bleeding and begging for help. Lori arrives at the party and assures everyone she's okay, despite the blood oozing from her head. Lori approaches James and straddles him. The other girls start to dance, as James looks around in shock to see that all the girls' dates are dead. He also learns the girls aren't human, when Lori and her friends are revealed to be... ethereal creatures called Sap. James Blonde watches as Lori drinks the blood of Janet and Maria, and succumbs to the energy of the energy in the coven. Uh... Lori starts to change into a different creature, and starts to kill the other girls. Okay, I need to double down on this one. Suddenly, Lori suddenly... <laughs> Suddenly, Lori suddenly wakes up and begins screaming and crying. Lori runs off and is pursued by the girls as Janet says, I know it sounds crazy, but you were like a little sister to us, and I just want you to know how much we'll miss you. As Lori drives home in the car, the other girls appear and beg Lori not to leave them. Lori stops her car on the road and says she can't leave them because they're dead. That's actually not a bad twist. An old man named Krieg lives alone with his dog, Spite, and scares away trick-or-treaters while stealing their candy. He later finds his home decorated, inside and out, with jack-o'-lanterns and scribbled trick-or-treat rhymes. Krieg is attacked by Sam, a small boy wearing orange footy pajamas and a burlap sack over his head. During a brutal struggle, Krieg removes the burlap sack from Sam's head 
to reveal a magic pumpkin mask, which is composed of chains of jack-o'-lanterns, with the jack-o'-lanterns being children with dead glowing eyes. That sounds elaborate. So Krieg calls for help, but he is tackled by Sam. Krieg shoots Sam with a shotgun, but Sam survives and attacks Krieg again. Sam takes a chocolate bar and places it on a jack-o'-lantern, causing it to grow and engulf Krieg. The necklace of skulls grows into a large machine that suddenly explodes, causing Krieg to disappear into a smoky void. The lone rusted blade of a jack-o'-lantern vanishes and the lights turn off. Well, that was pretty weird, but okay. So here's a few AI test creations I couldn't use in the story, but I thought they were funny. My my, what big hands you've got. Sizable for a handcuffed man oldian. When two hot guys show up at the party, the girls don't want Lori to notice them. As Emmett puts the unconscious assailant into the trunk of the trunk, he realizes the new driver of the van is an insane man named Vinny. My my, what big hairy boy fetish you've got. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, hey, maybe subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Also, let me know in the comments what movies you'd like to see done in the future. And until next time, later danger seekers.